Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you here on this healing journey. Now, I've already done my meditation and called in the appropriate guidance. 7-Eleven, <laughs> 7-Eleven. Okay, anyway. Um, called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be, all right? I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the sense of freedom, okay, from someone or something, right? But we do have seven, okay, on both sides. So what I'm feeling is someone is deep in their thoughts about you or you about them or just about something in general. Some of you could be in a meditative state, feeling balanced, all right? Let's go ahead and get into this reading. You can show me what it is. I need to see. Yeah. So, you know, we've been having this energy of transformation as a collective. All right. This could also be a physical passing for someone. If that is the case, my condolences to you. Okay. I do hear funeral. Somebody going to a funeral. Okay. I'm actually seeing somebody heals, get stuck in the muddy ground or something like that, okay? So we have strength. This could have something to do with the Leo or just about you standing in your power. This could also be the bending of somebody's will, someone trying to make someone do something that they don't want to. But I do get the strong sense of a transition. We have Neptune here. This is about spirituality. You could be a Pisces. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So strong Pisces in this reading. All right. Those of you that are not dealing with a Pisces or don't have that in your chart. This is talking about spiritual bliss or an enlightenment or some sort of Buddhic state for some of you. OK, yeah, this is definitely a collective reading. Look, we have Scorpio coming out transition rebirth. OK, so after every ending, there's a new beginning. OK, I'm also hearing. Nothing really dies, okay? So, yeah. I also heard energy transference. What is this energy? You can show me. So, this is about a love situation. We keep having Sagittarius come up in the reading, okay? Some of you could have strong Sagittarius, or this is just resonating with Sagittarius at this time, possibly because this is uh, Sagittarius season, okay? This could be about a love situation, a partnership for some of you, or someone wanting to be single, somebody needing to use their intuition. This could be about a child's mother, your mother. All right. So yeah, we definitely have a child's mother, a wife. All right. Um, so for some of you, this could be your mother. This is somebody that's very much in their thoughts and feelings about what you are doing. If this is your mother. Okay. So some of you may be at odds in, right? So we have that high priestess energy. So this is definitely somebody being vindictive. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're receiving some harsh karma. I heard was done in dark shell come to the light. So we have transformation, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Very interesting here. Somebody's on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. All right. This could also be a Libra and Scorpio Cusper as well. We have an Aquarius in the building. So for some of you, this is an actual Aquarius that may have something to do with it. That energy been popping up a lot lately. However, and or this is a third party. Okay, so this is someone that's not ready to spread their wings. This could also be someone that's younger. Um, for others of you, this person represents a third party, okay? Someone that is not in connection with their emotions. This is a concubine, a side piece, a side person that is there for show. It keep coming out. Look, I want to go to this. So this person has been doing a lot in the shadows. They could have Capricorn and uh, Aquarius in their chart or be on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. This energy has also been coming up in the collective. This is somebody that operates in the shadows. This is somebody that's tied themselves to a dead end situation is what I'm hearing. 
child. So this is about a toxic partnership. This could be a priest and his child's mother, a, a priest and a toxic wife. Okay, this could also be a family. I heard a family of witches. Why is Venus here? Or the equivalent to that in whatever it is you believe in, all right? What was this? Financial discipline. So, yeah, somebody's definitely uh, receiving some karma through their finances. So, I feel like, again, this tree is sticking out to me. All their investments, you know, is being put to a halt here. With flow, somebody definitely has been doing a lot of crying or a lot of arguing. This is a very emotional relationship for somebody. Why is the Empress here? Financial discipline. I feel like somebody may have gotten themselves entangled with somebody that uses them for money. So here we have this mother figure could, you know, could be a mother, your mother, a child's mother, you know, a mother figure, a woman in your life. Okay. Somebody is searching for some sort of answer about this karmic soul contract. Seven is sticking out, right? That came out earlier in the dice roll. So somebody's definitely in a meditative state. They're trying to figure out some answers. Okay. Somebody's being very secretive, destructive even. Why is transformation? I'm hearing this person cause their own transformation. Yeah. Yeah, due to pride, due to ego, health. So whoever this practitioner is, they're in bad health at this time. Feeling not protected. Somebody's definitely not protected here. So this may be somebody. I heard cast spells, cat, you know, because I'm seeing somebody do a circle. And the weird part about it is actually somebody with a robe like this. I don't know. I'm also hearing theatrical. This person may be eccentric, over the top, happy ending. So there's some sort of happening, um, happy ending for somebody here with the stroke. Okay, so the happy ending is you stepping away, you working on your finances. Some of you are definitely connecting with your North Node. You may need to watch your Venus sign. Those that need your chart, look in the description box below. Why is health here? Oh, that act like it didn't want to come out yeah so somebody definitely detached from a situation because it was starting to affect your environment affect your health okay why is pride here so this egotistical prideful jealous envious person that was casting stones and hiding hands they are not connected this could be somebody that deals with spirits but they're not spiritually inclined okay this is the crown chakra in reverse okay somebody could have been trying to men mentally manipulate someone's mind here you could be seeing 44 yeah so 44 for me is, talks very much about um, your environment, okay? So some of you are on a spiritual journey or this person put you on some sort of spiritual journey. So you had to let go during this relationship, this partnership, this friendship, whatever it is. You learn that this person didn't give you what you need, okay? So somebody, there's a child's mother, mother figure that... Uh, you may want forgiveness. Somebody needs to ask for forgiveness. I'm hearing forgiveness of their sins. This is what is that about? Hmm. Somebody could be thinking about. Yeah, that light. I feel like that's better. Somebody could be thinking of, about uh, some sort of strategy. Here we have the wheel of fortune again. Uh, you know, this is karmic in nature. Somebody definitely has some hand in some sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, spell work here. This is somebody that's very vindictive. Vind vindictive. <laughs> they will cut you. Somebody was messing with somebody's automobile. They also been doing magic, some sort of projection spells. Also, this person is feeling trapped. They could also be uh, in the spiritual confinement. I'm hearing. Okay. They're in the spiritual confinement for whatever they did. They went to the crossroads and they did some sort of clearing work first before they asked for what they want. This is somebody that could be dealing definitely in voodoo, but I heard the Orishas has something to do with this as well. Candles here. So this is somebody that's been psychic, 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 
psychic attacking you. This, this person is in mental prison right now. They could also be facing jail time here. Why is Venus here? Venus. Hmm. Yeah, whatever they sent, it went right back. So somebody didn't follow their intuition about their child's mother or a third party. Somebody they could have had children with. Okay. Yeah, somebody that they kept a secret. <clears throat> Why is Scorpio here? Forgiveness. Okay. So this is somebody that snaked you. This person may have purposely um, yeah, sought your person out or you sought them out. This is somebody very vindictive. They keep doing... I feel like I need this. They keep doing uh, spell work to get some sort of result. This person is not protected or they do not know how to protect themselves. Why is Sagittarius here? This is a lesson for somebody. Okay, so somebody definitely is going to jail here. Okay, it could be someone's child's mother, somebody that's rageful, vengeful. Somebody could try to physically attack somebody or shoot someone. Somebody, somebody didn't want their business out. Okay, with financial discipline, this is popping up. Okay, so somebody definitely may have found out about their partner dealing with someone from the LGBTQ community. They could have been paying this person for sex or something like that. Financial discipline. Yeah, this person is uh, hooked, attached to them due to some sort of spell work. Uh, with playing in your face, this person was hiding something from you. Okay. It's like somebody's intentionally doing something to, to hurt or harm you or someone you're thinking of. Why is forgiveness here? Forgiveness. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm hearing somebody needs to seek forgiveness, resolution, or restitution. Somebody could have to pay some sort of rest, restitution fees or something for tearing up some pro private property. Why is forgiveness here? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, this is somebody that initially they may have felt some sort of chemistry. Maybe this person was in a lower vibration or you were in a lower vibration at the time. They could have lied about you with playing in your face. Okay, so this is somebody that's vengeful and spiteful. They could have, uh, I'm hearing this person purposely slept with someone that you admired or something like that. Okay, health, keep the business to yourself is what I'm hearing. Why is health here? Mm. Yeah, so somebody's dealing with, I heard a narcissist, but somebody that only wants money. Again, this could be somebody that they are paying to have sex. Like, they don't have nothing in common but sex. Like, it's like a, somebody has some weird fetish, fetishes or something like that. Right. And you definitely walked away from this situation, okay? But they got some stuck with someone that's very vindictive, vindictive, <laughs> very vindictive. They only want the money, okay? This could be somebody that does lean or something like that. They drink a lot, okay? Or when they drink, they um, like they have some weird practices that they do, fetishes or something like that, okay? So fear is having faith in the enemy. So I'm hearing that this person may have lied, slandered put fear and doubt, especially if you are somebody that, uh, yeah, this is, especially if you are someone uh, that's in spirituality, okay, this person could have used your spirituality against you, either they, your person, or the person that they're dealing with, or somebody that they're sleeping with, okay, but I'm getting whoever they're paying to have sex with is the person that, or whoever gets paid to have sex is the person that's casting the spell, Okay, this could be somebody that they met at a club, strip club, specifically for some of you. Okay. Mm. Somebody's trying to avoid their karma. This person could be trying to come in and talk with you. Look, look at keep coming out. Okay, so whoever this vicious and spiteful person is, this person with a personality disorder, this person with an entity attachment, they're definitely going to jail or they are in jail for some of you. Okay. So this is somebody that claims to be a ride or die or is down for whatever. This is somebody young and naive. I'm getting, yeah, missing you, wish you were here. So somebody definitely is dealing with somebody in jail, strengthening bonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the person that they um, walked away for some of you.
okay, or you walked away from this person, but they decided that, you know, one day you didn't answer or you got into some sort of argument and they took a risk. They made some sort of gamble, okay? For some of you, you could have thought this person was your twin. I feel like this is a karmic, like a mimic. I heard a carbon copy. <clears throat> so for some of you, this person could have a lot of similar attributes as your actual twin. For some of you, you are dealing with someone else I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the right that is higher than. And it came out with this. Okay, thank God is good. So this is, this person really doesn't realize how spiritually connected you are. Okay, you have a lot of faith, like you have a lot of protection here. You decided to boss up. Some of you may even have like a favorite mug that you drink out of. You chose your higher self. Some of you, you were in some sort of addiction with this person or you was addicted to this person, but you overcame this. I feel like if you were addicted to this person, it would have something to do with childhood. You could have children with them or something that you lost in childhood. Maybe you <clears throat> knew this person from childhood, right? This is a struggle love. So I feel like there's a lot of false starts uh, in this situation with some of you. Okay, you may have stepped away, went out on a wing in a prayer. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So those opportunities were tests of some, somebody. This person was hoping that you didn't find out, okay? This is somebody that likes to finesse individuals for money. Look, work hard. That You know, you already know that work hard energy been coming out, okay? <clears throat> so in the upright, they on the hunt, okay? In the re reverse, they done stuck it, okay? In the reverse, they done got stuck. Look at it. Happy place. Work. Give up. Look, this person, mm -mm. there could also be somebody that wants somebody to stop having sex for money. That's what I heard. But that's like they're addicted. OK, and I heard this is the person that they left you for. For some of you, you have ancestors. You have all kind of energy around you telling you that this person ain't no good for you. Right. Like, this is nothing but karmic energy. This is somebody that'll do anything for money. Look, those opportunities. Look, those opportunities were tests, trick, finesse, an attempt to win. Look, work, give up. Happy place. This person is happy in that toxic behavior. They're going to either sell it or they're going to buy it. Good look. So if somebody wasn't in their right mind, okay, then somebody is dealing with some sort of impulsive obsessive disorder. That is uh, get, bringing me to that reading about the nympho. Somebody's a nympho. And that's actually what uh, these two, it, for some of you, it's your child's father. It could be a karmic that you may have known for a long time. This is something that they have in common, that toxicity. And I'm hearing at one point, you may have been in this because you there was some sort of energetic attachment here, okay? Go with your gut. You, you, you were discombobulated dealing with this person because they was doing or had a lot of karmic individuals in their life, possibly somebody that they had a child with or somebody that's very childish. Crown shocker in the reverse. Look, heartache. So this person definitely, you know, this is the energy. And I'm not laughing, right? But this is the energy when they get around their friends, they're going to be like, oh, no, I left that person. That person ain't nothing. They do this. They do that. They. This is the energy of somebody that's project, projecting, okay? This person drains you of your energy, all right? They're, for some of you, they they lack empathy. They didn't, they didn't care. Okay, because they was operating out of their lower vibration. Okay, this could also be a masculine for some of you that may have chose this her scantily clad woman. <laughs> what the hell? Look, look, I, and I glanced over. It's this person's nature, right? They like self discipline. Look at this. But universal life force sources say there's a new be a new beginning. This person sees you. In your new beginning, for some of you, they also may want a new beginning with you, right? But this is a struggle love, right? So they're dealing with somebody that's codependent. You're dealing with a player that, you know, 
they're misogynistic in nature or they have some sort of misogynistic views like this is somebody that's traditional so meaning even if the tradition is toxic okay so say they you know they around their friends they all got women they all probably probably possibly marry when they go out go to the club you know what they do they get at women they have a pact that they're not gonna they're gonna they're gonna stick up for each other right they're gonna lie for each other but this is someone that's very jealous, envious, and spiteful as well. So now this player, whoever this person is, they're thinking about it, right? If this was a strategy to break your heart, it all went back on them. This person could have actually tried to sacrifice you for some of you, right? You'll know that uh, is in alignment with you. But what I'm saying here is they had a sacrifice and they chose to sacrifice what was in their lower self, something that was uh, a vibration, a vibrational match. And for some of you, it's a child's mother here. Okay. So this person gets around their friends and they're going to lie. All right. But I do feel like they're thinking about you. For some of you, this person is in jail. Whether the, the woman is in jail, the father's in jail for something they could actually stab somebody, shot somebody, poison somebody, I'm hearing. What is this me time chill? Look, definitely something, something came out here. Okay. For some of you, this person may have even been involved in poisoning you, poisoning your drink or something. This person is really en envious and yeah, at a strip club, this is somebody that'll put like a Mickey in your drink here, like a ecstasy or something, try to make you flip out. Yeah. Look, happy place. But happy page. This is somebody that is definitely uh, comfortable with being in their lower selves. So with collective consciousness, consciousness, I'm I'm hearing that you know it's best for you to move forward. Okay, pay attention to your guys because this is distorted energy. They're not they're not going to do nothing but bring distorted energy into your life. And not only that, if you go around this person. You're going to miss out on opportunities. They're going to steal your joy. They're going to drain you energetically, financially. All right. So they chose someone that they can control or they feel like they can control. Right. But somebody's not showing them true, their true selves in this situation. This is the consolation prize of minor value given to loser. The person that performs well. Right. A performance. So... So somebody's in the struggle of energy, and that's where they want to be, you know? Dang, all these went on the floor. Uh, surrender your fear of intimacy. So look, somebody is very self-destructive. Again, check out that reading that talked about somebody being an infomaniac. Again, this could somebody. This could even be somebody that don't necessarily have to <clears throat> need money, right? And they may like this. Somebody has fantasies, like weird fantasies. They may go and walk the street because they're an info. Like this person, you know, may play play. <laughs> I heard play ho, <laughs> but. A child. Okay, so heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Look, we had surrender the fear of intimacy come out. Right? Yeah, it should be effortless. Effortless. Okay? This is something that had a lot of false starts. With the moon here, this person is holding back the fact that they love you. Okay? This person may know, not know how to love, like whoever this is. This is somebody that may have had spiritual protection in the past, look, 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 look how this is looking. Surrender frustration. Look how this woman is looking at this age. It's like, I don't know, whoever has a passed over mother, like, I don't know, and possibly a grandfather or a father. It's like, I feel like that temperance that dropped them cups is this passed over loved one here. Okay, so you still have like an ancestor or they have an ancestor here that. Us trying to direct you towards your right path. Look, 
Surrender the fear chain. Somebody is definitely dealing with somebody that worked the pole. That ain't got nothing. I don't have no offense against anybody. They strip on the pole or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this person has some sort of entity attachment or some sort of toxic belief system possibly about money. Okay? Like money rules everything around me. That's the energy this person is. All right. Um, I'll see you later.